been said pretty well. Bits and pieces of what the Lord has given me tonight, but uh, yeah, look at it. That's what God can do, Dave. Huh? Praise the Lord. I didn't know. I didn't know none of y'all a few years back. Praise God. But we're thankful, to the Lord, for your acquaintance. But I guess if I was going to say anything tonight, is uh, everybody is needing encouragement. They're needing uplift. Or needing motivation in a righteous way, praise God. And uh, I believe the Lord has really been working with me on, on, on the up, uh, praise God, uh, because I know that's where all good things are going to come. I, I love everything that everybody else does, but but if I'm really looking for the good, that eternal value, that's everlasting benefit to mine and your souls, it, it's from God. Uh, but now. Just let me say that since the revival here and through the Easter over at church and revival over at the tabernacle and uh, getting out and getting with people, man, God just been overwhelmingly great. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. And and we've seen uh, people saved. Uh, we've seen them restored. Uh, we baptize a man and his daughter and, and son. And praise God, uh, they hadn't, they hadn't, uh, been in contact with me for over a year, praise God. And they just sent me word and said uh, they'd love it if I would baptize them. And I, I said, yeah, I'd do it. And somebody did ask me, was the water cold? So I'm, I'm still saved. I was, uh, it was freezing, praise <laughs> God. Yeah, it was. But the thing of it is we all look at things that we can see with the eye and we try to be encouraged by it. But, but what God was doing to the unseen eye, to the invisible glory to God, amen, uh, people wasn't seeing. But we begin to see results in this last revival I was in because uh, we had a lady uh, uh, praying that she could have a godly home and, 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 and she was wanting her husband to come in. And glory to God, there it was, uh, uh, almost time for me to start preaching. Guess who walked through the door? Uh, praise God. We had a grandma praying for her grandson and, and family, and guess who showed up? Huh? We had a woman that lost a, 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 a son to suicide, and, and the other son was having a hard time, and praise God, she, she was praying that he'd show up. Guess who showed up? Huh? I'm telling you, God's answering prayer. He's meeting the needs, and we need to stir that and uplift and, and encourage one another. But if you got your Bibles, want to go over into the book of Acts, we'll not try to hold you too long. Praise the Lord. But uh, sometimes they say I can get lengthy. But Dave, we appreciate your leading the service tonight, the word, the witness that you gave and for the songs that's been sang. And, and God just good. But over in Acts chapter 1, verses 6. You'll stand with me. I'll read it. When they therefore were come together, mm -hmm, that's what we need to do. They come together, they ask him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father has put in his own power, but, no, it's about, ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. And when he, Jesus, had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. Everybody say, up. Oh. Yeah. And the cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up in the heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into the heaven. Father, I thank you. I praise you. I magnify you. Just pray, God, for your setting, for your atmosphere, Lord, for your angels about us and your blood upon us. Lord, endue us with power tonight, Lord, that we might congregate ourselves and unite and bond, Lord. 
that here that we might be encouraged of one another, that we might inspire, Lord, and reach a helping hand, Lord. I pray, God, that here tonight that you visit us in a mighty way, that you'll put your hand upon, and Lord, to each family, you'll meet the needs and the desires and the prayers. Father, that you might add to and increase and multiply through the lost and the prodigal, to those that are sick and needful, to those who are in prison and captivated, Lord, I pray for a setting free. I ask, Lord, here that you will touch upon this ground, Lord, make it holy and hallowed unto thee. And I'll thank thee and praise thee tonight, Lord, that your word go not out void, but let it accomplish that which pleases thee. In Jesus' name, everybody said amen. Praise God. I I, I was uh, reading this, and, and glory to God, as I said, the Lord just had me on, on, on the uh, the path of going up. Praise God. Amen. And glory to God. Uh, me and Michael, we, we've been together for the last three days of turkey hunting and stuff. And glory to God, it seems like he's got his shovel and he's he's wanting a lot of answers and stuff. And old Pops tries to give it to him. And, and glory to God, he, 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 he was very concerned of the times that we live and and we get into this and we we go back and you can see the disciples was in the same way and people's in the same way tonight and and the bible said that they come to him privately and inquiring of him when shall these things be and what's the sign of thy coming and the end of the world praise the lord i mean they had a concern and a sincerity there glory to god of, of, of when this was going to take place and and you see what the lord say and it, it's not in time or or season for them to know glory to god but God's keeping that reserved for Himself, Amen. Now, praise God. I know we know the signs uh, of the times, and we know about the fig tree and the leaves, and and summer is nigh. But glory to God, I I believe as Michael asked me, he said, you know, used to be I I, I didn't know that I might be alive. Uh, of when the rapture is going to take place. What, what do you think, Pops? I said, well, I'll be honest with you. Out of my heart, I, I mean, I've always preached the rapture, but but I really didn't know if I would ever see it or not because of my age and stuff. But there's something that gives me a feeling right now, glory to God, that I just might make it. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, and I mean, when when I look out here and see everything that's going on and see the likeness of the of, of the Bible and the similarity there, as me and Tim was talking a while ago, I, I, I said, I can see through the radical crowds and I can see through the government and the politics and, and the downfall of, of the economy, glory to God, and everything falling apart. And, and, and i tell you, it, it is something to see. But here's what I want to speak a little bit about tonight to, to make our, the believer's destiny. Amen. Now, Jesus had a destiny, glory to God, and, and, and God meant for him to make that destiny. They, they, they wasn't nothing going to take it away. Amen. Glory to God. But, but he was going to be tried. And I want you to know we're going to be tried. Our faith's going to be tried, glory to God, and, and and a lot of people is looking for another way to make the rapture, another way to get to heaven, but there's only one way, and Jesus said, I am that way, praise God, and and glory to God, there was a question asked that I, I, I bring to heart a lot of times, and, and that was when the uh, uh, sons of uh, Zebedee, glory to God, desired to be on the right and the left hand, and, and Jesus said, it's not mine to give, glory to God, amen, That that's God's, hallelujah, and I want you to know tonight, there's a lot of people trying to make a, a, a visa card or a pass uh, that they can get there another way but I'm telling you religion can't get you there and tradition can't get you and going to church can't get you there. Uh, there's only one way you'll get there and that's having the blood applied, being reborn again, having your name and your sins blotted out, glory to God. That's the only way you're going to get there. And I know what they're preaching, amen, uh, uh, whether it's denomination or undenomination, undom glory to God. Everybody's wanting to put a stipulation on it. Uh, have you been baptized with the Holy Ghost? Are you baptized? Have you ever spoken to That has nothing to do with going to heaven. Hello. Now, glory to God, the thing of it is uh, that we're living in a time that, that I want everybody to go to heaven. And I know the harvest is plenty and the labors are few, glory to God. And we need to pray right now that, that God will do what Jeremy said and unify a church, amen, and bring it together. But praise the Lord, here's the thing of it was. Uh, Jesus was a good cheerleader. Uh, he was always encouraging and motivating. Uh, and glory to God, uh, he, he didn't want the disciples to uh, be on the outside of looking in. And he tried to give them the wisdom and the knowledge and I'm telling you it's not only a vision uh, that we'll perish by uh, but we need some knowledge of, uh, of the word uh, we need to know thus saith Jesus glory to God because this is very time sensitive uh, and a lot of people try to live it to the past uh, and a lot of live it to the uh, future uh, but we need to live it in the present glory to God uh, for it's now faith that's going to move the church huh I started 
uh, of following this glory to God and, and, and seeing the excitement uh, of Jesus as he was telling them uh, uh, about the uh, coming of, or the departure of his self and Praise God, it, it began to affect them in different ways. Uh, but as I told Tim, I said, I believe there's a select few. And glory to God, it's not for everybody. Now you hear me, glory to God. It's not that everybody ain't going to heaven. Uh, but God is going to take some a little further than He did the others. And I thought they talked about it all night there in, in the garden of Gethsemane, glory to God, that He picked John, James, and, and, and Peter uh, uh, out, glory to God, and He took them into the garden. Uh, amen. And the Bible said that He went by the stone, stone cast brother but here's the thing that God showed me amen that's where you and I are tonight we're in a battle we're in a struggle and it's spirit against the flesh and they're contrary one to another you see Jesus had a destiny but to get to that destiny he had to overcome self it wasn't the devil it was his self and in self he did not want to die hear what I'm going to say he knew he knew what God's business and God's purpose he knew the reason that he was here but God Glory to God. Yet he would go over here with the Father and he'd pray to the Father, if it be thy will. And then he'd come back over to the flesh and the flesh would be asleep on him. And glory to God, he was torn between. Can you hear what I'm saying? Hey Amen. I don't know where you're at tonight. But God's a calling us. Hey Amen. He's calling us a deeper and a deeper in, in, into the garden. Hey Amen. It didn't happen once. It didn't happen twice. It happened three times before Jesus got this thing worked out. And if it took him that long, get it work out. What about us? Yeah. Amen. Now the thing of it was, glory to God, this, this was a self submitting way. And Jesus is going to have to submit to the will of God. And I believe the church is going to have to submit to the will of God, glory to God. And when we submit to the will of God, and he asked them, are you able to drink of the cup that I drink of? And they said, yeah, Lord. And he said, indeed ye will. Everybody wants to go to heaven. Everybody wants to reign. Everybody wants to walk in the cloud. But nobody wants to suffer. Right. Huh? Well, get ready. We're going to be tried before we ever go up. Jesus had a destiny there that was already punched. Amen. His ticket was made out. It was a one-way trip. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To get off of this train was, was to lose everything. And God ain't a loser, folks. He's a winner. Amen. And glory to God. He, he was giving Jesus everything that he needed. But I want you to know, even though he was a little less than, than, than the angels and more like us, glory to God, he had a fight within him, whether it be God or whether it be him. And he's bumping his head. You may not see that, but there was a struggle, a very finite line. And, and glory to God, he, he had to go and empty up. We're going to have to empty up, folks. We're going to have to sell out. Amen. We're, we're, we're going to have to commit. We're going to have to trust. We're going to have to combine. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done, Father. And that took something for him. Because he knew as, as just as soon as he turned himself over to God, what was waiting on him? What was waiting on him? He said, I'm going to be betrayed. I'm going to be forsook. Glory to God. We're right at the time. Amen. Of this scripture that people's going to forsake and they're going to deny that some of them, glory to God, is going to stand afar off and some's going to turn around. But the Bible said as he went to the Passover, amen, all the disciples forsook him. Huh? And the Bible said in the last days there's going to be a great fall in the wood. Praise the Lord. So, so we need to start looking up. Amen. And the Lord was dealing with this. And me and Michael was out there on the first day. And praise the Lord. I mean, Turkey just wasn't doing what we wanted them to do. That's for sure. Praise God. We walked a few miles and up and down and around the hills and stuff. And praise God, probably, probably ended up five miles and here in a couple of Turkey. Wouldn't you know it? We're on this side of the mountain, and over on this side of the mountain, there's one over there, one to sing in the choir. Michael said, let's go get him. I said, well, if you're waiting on me, buddy, the bridge done fell. Let's go. <laughs> so we started down and come across the creek. There's a log there, and my foot slipped and uh, done something my ankle. Just couldn't get the pressure back down on it, amen, that, that I needed to, to really go up that mountain the way that I'm used to going and stuff, and 
And man, the, the, the more that we started upward, the more the turkey got. And there was something in me that was excited, glory to God. I mean, when, when, when you know that you're getting closer to the rapture, amen, the departure of the church, there's something that's really, really exciting, but glory to God, the hurt of thinking who you're going to leave behind and, and all the weight that you're carrying, praise God, of the souls that's unsaved and stuff, amen, it, it, it's kind of uh, uh, stammering your, your trip. It's, it's, it's dampening it, glory to God, kind of burdening, holding you back. And, and, and I told Michael, I said, I don't know, I'm trying to shake this and prayed for it in the name of Jesus and we're going right on up that steep one flat and going up another flat and I got there and I said Lord <laughs> I'm just going to do like a deer do <laughs> I'm going to go around the side <laughs> Michael's going up through there and that thing gobbled and the Lord said no you're not you're going up but it's easier this way he said that's the problem with the church they want to go the easy way <laughs> Amen. he said I don't want you to go that way I want you to go up why you ever ask him that yeah. Why do you want me to go up when it feels good this way? Yeah. Amen. You see, it ain't about feeling good. It's about where God wants you. He said, Jesus, Jesus, you got to go to the cross. Amen. You, you're going to die that death, glory to God, because it's got to take place before you ever go up. Praise God. These are some things that we got to go through as a church before we ever go up. Amen. When Jesus took the disciples to that mountain of transfiguration for an experience, glory to God, he didn't pick everybody. He picked a handful and he took them up there on the mountain. And glory to God, no doubt in their, their hearts they sang, why? As he said, you think it just happened? You think they just snapped their fingers was on top of that mountain? Praise God. No, no, it was a climb. And, and I don't know that they was conditioned. I don't know that their heart was right. I don't know, amen, that their spirit was longing and desirable to go to the top of the mountain. It's yours. Huh? So here I am. A little disabled there and Got behind Michael and he said, what are you doing, Pops? Go around. I said, can't. Why? I said, well, I'll tell you about it later. Huh? You see, we need to hear, to hear what the Lord is saying, Lord. And he kept saying up, saying up. Uh, you know, glory to God. I knew I was going to come here to preach, but he, he wants me to tell you all, come on, come on, up, yeah. up. Up, the glory of God. But when you come into the house of the Lord, let everything with breath praise Him. Stand up, stand up, glory to God. Amen. When you come in here, get a smile on your face. Let's get up, let's get up, glory to God. Let's clap our hands. Hey, let's shout for the glory of God. Let's get up. We can win this thing. We can overcome. We can make it, glory to God. Step by step. It hurt. It hurt. I didn't cry out. But it hurt. My son was, was excited. That big gobbler up there. He's going to get him. And I come up to this last flat before we got to the top. He was just the goblin right outside. Michael said, oh. And we stopped. And he's a coming. He in first and then here he come. He's out there and, and Michael's in such a cramping position. Yeah. I seen his gun wobbling. I said, don't you shoot that. <laughs> and I said, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. He couldn't. Uh, you see, a lot of us is in position. We can't get what God wants us to get because we're kind of wobbling. Amen. He wants us to be stubble, stable. Amen. Because he said, listen, glory to God, a, a double-minded man, he's unstable within his way and he'll miss his target. I want you to know, glory to God, if you get off course just a little bit, you'll miss heaven. God wants us to go to heaven. He made us a way. Our ticket is fine. Reservations are made. Amen. Heaven is excited. They're waiting on arrival. Yeah. Uh, sitting there. I sit down. That turkey turned, went the other way. Just kept going. Michael started to be a predator and follow him. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> that thing to gobble that he'd gone away from. Yep. Amen. Now, glory to God, I want you to know if you if you want God bad enough, keep pursuing him. Yep. Amen. You, you'll catch up with him. But glory to God, I thought, now, Lord, you brought me all the way up here to watch that boy go out there. I want to kill that thing. <laughs> I want to kill that thing. 
Praise the Lord. And he, he's going out there and I could, I could hear him calculating that thing just a gobbling all the way. And I thought he's going he's gonna to shoot any, any minute. Man, it was cold the other morning. I put my hand down like that and just put my head down. The Lord said, I sit up. I raised my head up. Here come two gobblers yeah. just a walking out there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, him up there calling, chasing that thing. And, and here they come sneaking up through there, not saying a word. I said, up it is. I'm going to up in him. Pow. <laughs> I rolled that rascal. All because God said up. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah. It hurt. It was hard. It was trying. Glory to God. But when I got there, it was worth it. Amen. Glory to God. I had no idea. It wasn't calling. wasn't nothing. Just a sitting there and letting Michael go do his thing. Praise God. And God brought me a turkey. Yeah. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Amen. Didn't have to do a thing. I want you to know God has got everything in store. Amen. To be a blessing to you. To run over your cup. To get you up. To get you to shout. To get you to smile. Can you heal him or say? Jesus left that garden. Lord of God. Just like Abraham. A lot of weight on him. He said, Abraham, I got to know where you're at. God wants to know where we're at, folks, before we ever go up. He said, I want to know where you're at. I want your son and you to go up yep. on the mountain. Amen. Glory to God. And, and he said, I'm, I'm looking for sacrifice. And praise the Lord as he took Isaac up there. You know the story. He had the knife. He had the fire. He had the wood. Glory to God. But, but Isaac said, where's the sacrifice? Amen. Faith in Abraham said this. You don't got to worry about a son. God will make a, huh? God will give the sacrifice. Amen. Hallelujah. And glory to God. There it was. He was willing to go through it. And God seen his, how I many know God sees our heart? Amen. Up on top of the mountain. Amen. I want you to know that's where you get a better view. Amen. That's where you hear things better. That's where the feeling comes good. Glory to God. It's up on top of the mountain. Amen. I, I tell you, it, it, it might seem good in the valley or midways, but when you get up top, it's worth the walk. It's worth the trying. It's worth the sweat. It's worth the investment to get up on top and see the beauty of the Lord and the outpouring of the Spirit. And God begins to save and restore and heal. And God blesses your soul and answers your prayer. Come on now. Yes. I mean, in all thoughts, somebody, I've heard him preach it, that Abraham thought he was going to give up his son. He did not think that, not for one minute. He told the ones that came with him down at the bottom. He said, you wait here, and me and the lad will be back here in a little bit. Amen. you gotta, you got to know whom that you believe in tonight and have a relationship with him that God's going to take us someplace. And that place is up. Amen. And we're all needing that mountaintop experience. Amen. We, we've been in the hardship and the trials. And we've been in the pain and the agony. And glory to God, we know what it is not to be in the condition. Amen. And, and, and the desire that God wants us to be. But glory to God, get yourselves ready to get to the top of the mountain. Get up. Huh? Oh, glory. Moses said, I, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a turkey up there. I don't know. But God's telling me to go up that mountain. Huh? Go up that mountain. Praise the Lord. He had no idea what God had waiting on him up there. He, 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 didn't, he didn't go prepared. He, he went as a natural man. And when he got up there, God had to call him out on it. And he said, do you not know where you're at? Do you all not know where you're at? Huh? He said, do you not know where you're at? And glory to God. I mean, where, where you been? You seen a bush burn that don't be consumed. Uh, praise God. Where'd you ever see a voice come out of a fiery bush? Uh, you don't know where you at, Moses? And the Bible said, fear come upon him. As he took them shoes off, he recognized where he Do we know where? This is the house of God. A gateway to the heaven. Up. Up. He come down all there with his appearance changed. Carrying two big old tablets, glory yeah. to God. Huh? Amen. You don't have to be an Abraham or, or a Moses. You can be a Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus said, I know. Huh? 
I know we're all good things. I'm gonna climb this sycamore tree. Yep. I don't. I don't care. Maybe you think I'm small stature. Maybe I'm a nobody. Maybe I'm unqualified. Maybe I don't fit the mold. But praise God, I'm gonna climb up where I can see Jesus. Can you hear what I'm saying? Hey man, I don't care if you're Baptist or Methodist or Pentecostal, endued with power, baptized in the Holy Ghost. As long as you got the blood applied, and you want to see Jesus. Hmm? More than anything, he wanted to see Jesus. Climb that tree. You think it's easy to climb a sycamore trap? Huh? It's tough. Jesus going to Calvary was ever bit as tough. It wasn't only the cuts and the hits and the spits. It wasn't only the pressing of the crowns. On the inside, nobody could see it, but his heart was totally damaged. You not remember when I saved you? <laughs> you not remember when I healed you? <laughs> yeah. You not remember when I sat down in your house with you? Why? Why would you stand afar off? Why would you withdraw and turn around? How come you for second? Yeah. Hello? All I want to do is take you up. Yeah. I want to take you up. You see, that's the thing about it. Glory to God. I, I want everybody. I don't care what church they go to or what kind of house they got built. I just want them to have the blood of plat that they can go up. Amen. Glory to God. Now the rest of us just benefits, folks. That's all it is. You you can work for minimum wage or you can get union scale. Is that right, brother? Amen. Glory to God. And I'll tell you, you'll like that union scale a lot better than that minimum wage. It not only gives you a higher pay grade, it'll give you benefits that you ain't ever had. And when you come into the Lord and you get union up with Him, praise God, and you get membership, glory to God, you're going to get blessings untold. Your cup's going to run over. You're going to have plenty to share with other people. Huh? Jesus knew that. Huh? Glory to God. He knew that what was waiting on him had worth to it. I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it all when we all get on, on the other side, Dave, and we begin to tell these stories. Mm, praise the Lord. But you know and I know, glory to God, that it ain't going to be stories from back here. Everything we're going to have to say up there is to the praise of his name. Yeah. Ain't no way God would put the weight of this world and the ugliness up on our hearts as we go through heaven's door. But man, for all of them that don't make it, that's all they're going to think about. How I rejected the Lord, how I walked off, how I forsook him, how I denied him glory to God. And they're going to suffer that agony and pain, that torment, uh, that fire where the worm never dies and the fire never quenched. Uh, amen. And they're going to be cast right with what Danny said into that everlasting lake of fire. And it ain't going to stop there. Ever and ever. And Think about that, folks. So Jesus said, I want to divert that. I want to take you up. But you see, the disciples couldn't handle that truth. And right now we're living in a time that, that, that the church is, is kind of living in a hypocrisy way, acting like they're excited about leaving while they're still investing into this world. And they act like they're loose and free while they're binded down by the cares of this life. Are you hearing me? Amen. It's not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, that's going to go to heaven. It's not everybody that gets up in front and prophesies to you, does wonderful things and casts out devils. Are you hearing me? Glory to God. But only those that's got the blood applied, that bleed in their heart and confess with their mouth, glory, that's salvation unto you. It ain't by works least any man, but it's by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Which is suffice for every need that we have. Hello. Glory to God. Man. It may not be exciting to you, but it was exciting to me when them two turkeys come around. Huh? Maybe it ain't, it ain't quite exciting the way I'm preaching, but I'll tell you, when God tells me that there's going to be a shout with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, I get a little beside myself. Amen. Now, glory to God, I've heard a lot of trios, but that's one that I've got on my number one list I want to hear. Amen. And glory to God, I, I, I want you to know, amen, when, when I begin to hear about the, the, the dead is going to rise first and we're going to remain going to meet them in the air, hey, glory to God. Well, what the Bible actually says is caught up. Up, 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 up. Amen. Up is 
Number one, priority in God's language. You get in this book, everything is going forward and going up. Right. But yet, some reason, whether we want to get a glimpse of ourselves or what, we'll look in that rear view mirror. And the next thing we know, we're dwelling where we come from instead of where we're going. And we got a whole big old windshield back to let us know where we're going. God, glory to God, has, has not hid this thing. He said, I'll not hide this thing that I'm going to do down in Sodom. Come on, I'm going to go to Abraham. And I'm going to tell you, I'm telling you, folks, God's telling us loud and clear right now, the rapture is just about to take place. We're going up. We're out of here. Praise God. Oh, give me a date and time. Did Jesus give them one? No, I can't give it. Glory to God. No man, no angel, no. Only God himself. But I know it's close. Real close. Ain't no way that America or any other nation can dwell another few years with the swirl they're in. Uh -uh. It's not a population thing no more. Used to be they tried to control the population make wars huh? and, and spread disease and stuff. It, it ain't the population. Huh? It, it, it's a hatred. Yeah. It's an anger. It's a meanness. It's a cruelty, glory to God. I mean, I mean they push little ducks in the creek. <laughs> are you hearing me? They don't give two suits about who you are or who you belong. They just soon kill a Christian. Huh? Hey Amen. I watched that season four. I come and this, this stupid old guy that they already got him bail made and, and a psychiatrist on the way come up and hit that woman cop in the head of that ball. They should have kicked the props out from under him. Bible said you won't come out till you pay the uttermost father. I think I think when we're done away with the death penalty, oh, I'm telling you, when we're done away with that death penalty, we turn the devil loose. Huh? He ain't scared no more. He ain't hiding no more. He's coming out into the open glory to God. He, he pulled off all the mask and all the restraint. He ain't scared no more. That's why we got to get up. Let the redeemed say so. Get the blood and show them the cross. Hallelujah. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. We will not be defeated. I shall not be moved. You cannot transform me into the gay world Amen. or the transvestite or the abortionist. Uh, you can't do it. I've done being conformed. I, I'm separated. I'm free, glory to God. I'll not go back into that pollutant and that defilement. You can't make me let them behind the pulpit. You can take my credentials. You can shut me down. You can call me discriminant. You can say I'm radical. You can say I'm preaching hate. But glory be to God, when I go out, I'll be preaching Jesus. Huh? You see, the same thing that was happening with Jesus when he was trying to come to his destiny is happening right now. And it broke out in the streets. And the further it went, it was like a snowball downhill. It got worse and it got worse until, glory to God, it wasn't just a few hollering crucifying. It was from the government to the religious sect to the sinful world. And they was all saying, do away with it. Huh? Some people looking for Norm to come back. If somebody could explain to me what Norm is in this world. The only Norm that the Christian ought to know is Jesus. For the Bible said he's the same today as he was yesterday and forevermore. He changes not. Huh? Sad to say, most churches like a fish on the bank. You don't know which way they're going to flop. One day they're on fire, and the next day they're in the world. Man, we got to make our minds up, get determined, take a hold of that plow, don't let it loose. But we're living in that day, the day that He declared to us it was coming, a lukewarm age, that where everybody sleeps and slumbers, and nobody's got any oil in their vessels, but a few. So as Jesus was in the garden and he's going through all this, he wasn't looking at the nine that didn't go with him. You see, we've got a supporting cast 
of believers that follows. And glory to God, they just won't enter in to the rest and the peace of the Lord. But, but they entered in and it was so peaceful and they felt so secure and they had such an assurance Jesus was with them, they fell asleep. Hmm? Right at the driver's wheel, just about to enter into the experience of their lifetime, they went to sleep. Jesus was at the greatest battle of, of, of his earthly living days of hearing God and trying to fleece flesh. It was ripping him apart. If, if your attachment, your distraction, your love of pleasure in this life is greater than your selling out and submitting to God, you're in trouble. Yeah. It ain't easy. You're going to the mountaintop and you want that experience? It's going to cost you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Michael surely wasn't going to piggyback me up that hill. <laughs> uh, I can't piggyback you to heaven. There ain't, there ain't no any row of us can piggyback you to heaven. I can't get you there. Peter said, I have no power. I have no holiness. Only Jesus. Put your faith right there. And he'll get you there. Glory to God. They're asleep. And here's what he said. Go ahead and take your rest. How many knows what rest is for? Huh? That's to rejuvenate. To refresh. That you might gain strength. I believe the church needs strength right now. They need a booster shot. Amen. And God's trying to give us one. Every testimony, every song, every prayer, every witness that these guys get the opportunity out there. God has given us victory after victory after victory. It may be small, but it's one step at a time, glory to God. You ain't going to get to the top of the mountain with a rabbit hop. You're going to have to put some foot time in. You're going to have to put some heart time in. Amen. I come up the hills a lot of times, and i got to watch sweat. Even if it's cold like it was mine. Huh? Get up there and you ain't ate all morning and stuff, and you barely let you know it. That thing will testify, I'm telling you. And then the next thing you think, man, I got water and pop down there in the truck. Why didn't I stop and get a drink before I got my fist fall? Huh? We just act ignorant sometimes. Stupid. Huh? We come right by the truck. I could have got me a sip and went right on up the hill, but I didn't. You see, God gives us every opportunity that we can make. He supplies every need that we don't have to worry about getting to the top because he wants everybody to get to the top. And I heard Brother Dave talking about out in Colorado. I've been there. But over here on this mountain, glory to God, I, I noticed that the trees was in bundles in the bottom and they thinner and thinner as you get to the top. When we got to the top, glory to God, and, and Michael had that uh, cell phone out, and he works all that and map apps and stuff and tells us where we're at and stuff. And he said, we're right here. And I said, I'm telling you, if you're listening, Michael, amen, uh, that thing's wrong. Nope, we're going to go this way it goes. We started out that point down that way. He said, you might be right. Maybe we do need to turn around and go back. So we turn around and going back, and I get I get up on top, and I said, "I've been here before." Yeah, yeah. Huh, man? You ain't ever going to get somewhere that you ain't ever had experience with the Lord, man. And when that memory comes back to you, it, it's refreshing because glory to God, I didn't want to walk no more mileage. I wanted to get to the truck, huh? Glory to God. And, and, and I'm in the time right now, glory to God. I love all the service we're having, and, and I want to see my people saved. But glory to God, I want to get to heaven. I want to be with the Lord. You see, I want to be where that excitement is, uh, where that thrill is, glory to God. And I tell you, a church that's in preparation, uh, a church that's in ready mode, uh, a church that is up, uh, a church that's moving in the spirit, uh, a church that knows how to wash them, uh, a church that knows how to pray, a church will come together and unify itself. Amen. And lift me up. And that's where I want to be. Amen. Where I want to be. You get up on top. 
it's a whole different view. You're down there, everything's closed in on you. Kind of smothers you. You come up to the next flat and the next flat, and, and you begin to see even the air changes from cool to warm. Man, you're getting close. We're getting closer, folks. Right. Glory to God. And then you get up there and oh, the beauty my eyes behold. See miles and miles around. Just just turn any degree you want. And, and you can see the handiwork of God. Amen. And glory to God. That's the thing about it. God was taking Jesus to a place on top of a mountain where he could get a better view. And the view he looked was, glory to God, he, he, he really didn't care for it. But he said, Lord, Father, lay it not to their charge. He seen them. He, he, he seen them for who they was. He knew where they was at, glory to God. He read their hearts, amen, and, and he spoke to them. And he said, lay it not to their church. They don't know what they do. Tell me God don't love you. Tell me God don't love you. Jesus loves you tonight. Praise God. He said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me also. I'm going away. If I go away, I'm coming back again. What are you going for? I'm going to prepare a place. Prepare a place, yeah, up there. Up there, glory to God. And he said, and I'm going to come back and receive you unto myself. That where I am, ye may I be also. How many looking to go up? Yes. Yeah. Huh? Glory to God. Why not? Dave said gas is going up and bread's going up. And, huh? What ain't going up? Well, let's go a little higher. Let's get up. Huh? Government going to raise taxes? Everything going up. Well, it's time the church goes up. Yes, sir. We need to step it up a notch. Get some excitement stirred in the church. Start your walk. Get on top of the mountain. See what you can see. One on one. They come with Jesus. All the way to judgment. They drew a line. They'd have never made it up that way, Timmy. If it wasn't for the mercy of God, yeah. the long suffering of Jesus, it wasn't for the love of his heart on that cross, none of them disciples would have made it. Everybody talks about Judas, but none of them would have made it. But he said, I'm going away to prepare a place for you. Yeah. And I'm going to come back. And I'm going to lead you into Jerusalem. Uh, I'm going to lead you into Jerusalem. Unheard of. A man raised from the dead after three days dead. He's almost at a place of Lazarus is stinking. Where you put your faith? I pulled out at church the other night. I pulled a dollar bill out and I pulled a, a napkin out. I said, there's no difference. They're both paper. But where the difference is, is the worth. This dollar, it's universal good. Hmm? This dollar, everybody needs. Poor, rich, country, city, young and old, they all need that dollar. But that dollar is going to perish. It's temporal. But that napkin that was laid in that tomb is everlasting promise. And that promise to you and I was, where I am, you will be. You will be. He gave us a promise in that nap. Amen. So now we know that Jesus is in his rightful place on the right hand side of the Father. And he ain't going to give up until we're in our rightful place. Absolutely. For that which was designated for him is designated for every believer that's saved. Yeah, huh? Yeah. He said, I don't care if you come in the last hour or yeah. the first hour. Yeah. It's for you. For you'll receive the same pay that Clark got. Yep. Hello? That's right. Amen. See, God no respect to people this, this evening. It don't go by affiliation or denomination or how you qualify or disqualify in a church or if you've been baptized in their pool or, or got your name on their member book. It's all about the blood. It's all about the blood. And we don't want to leave nobody out. Nobody. Amen. I know that we, we get on doctrines and stuff and we talk about eternal security and lunch and grace and stuff. And glory to God, uh, uh, Charles Stanley, I, I kind of cut my teeth off him. He was a once and grace preacher, but one of the finest men I know. Absolutely. 
Yeah. One of the finest men Absolutely. I know. Glory to God. I believe he, li he lived what he preached. Absolutely. Huh? I think he had a heart, glory to God, for yeah. people. Amen. And, and, and Billy Graham, he had a heart for people. Glory to God. Uh, never preached in a church that I know of. Evangelized always life. All his life, he's out there in the field, glory to God, and probably seen more people saved than any 15, 20, 30, 40, 100, maybe 1,000 preachers in this area. Huh? Amen. Praise the Lord. But but yet we want to put restraint and, 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 and qualifications on people. Glory to God. You got to do this and you got to do that. And, and, and I believe, glory to God, that, that Jesus did tell the disciples, that if you want to go up, you got to come off a lower level yeah. and go to an upper room. Amen. Up, Amen. up. There's where you're going to be endued with power because you see, there's where the switch comes. They wasn't called disciples no more. Disciples is followers of Jesus. They become apostles, builders of churches. Yeah, that's right. Yep. And God began to use them as servants. Amen. Praise God. As He began to use them through that endowment of power, the difference was now they was predictable on the positive side instead of the negative side. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Jesus knew that Peter was going to mess up somewhere. Yeah. Huh? He knew, glory to God, that, that, that whether it was cut somebody's ear off or deny him or curse, he could count on Peter doing it. But when Peter come over through the endowment of power, he said, now I give you the ministry of the circumcision. You will be the minister of all ministers. To the household of Israel. Hmm? And thank God. Jesus looked on down the road. Yeah. And seen a no count. Unthinkable. Unimaginable. Un unqualified Saul. Met him on that road. And began to speak to him. Yeah. Lord thou Lord. I'm the one that you've been truly persecuting. Every time you killed one of them, you killed me. Hmm? This day, everything's going to change, <laughs> yeah, yeah. including your name. You think you got authority? You think you got a, a sword and an arm and a hand of, of iron? I'm going to make a softy out of you. I'm going to turn your world upside down. Praise God. And, and what happened to him? Hmm? He went blind first. That's what's happening to the church now. People coming in and they're saying they're getting saved. You'll know if they get saved because they'll become blind to the world. Yeah. As long as they're still talking about the world and witnessing about the world, they're not blinded to it. Huh? Grandpa used to pull them horses and put them blinders up on them. Them things pull straight ahead. God wants us going straight ahead. Why? Well, we're going up. We're going up. He had to die. He had to be buried. He had to resurrect. That's not up. That's above ground. Hmm? About to touch him, he said, touch me not. That's right. Hmm? They'd have touched him, he'd have never went up. That's right. He said, I've not received my glorified body yet. I'm still in the will of my Father. He's still working on me. I mean, no, God's still working on you. Ah, huh? He's still working on you. Touch me not. But he got to the place that he wanted to make it so much, he said, Thomas, I want you to doubt no more. He knew. He knew. Yeah. Touch it. Go ahead. T t touch my nail scars. Touch the pierce. Yeah. No, my Lord, my Master. My. Praise God. I don't have to do that. Huh? God don't have to prove nothing else out to us. That's right. We know who He is. We know why we're here. We know where we're going. We're going up. We're going up. Walking with Him. What it says. Walking with Him. Started walking. <laughs> Thin air. Can you imagine? Nah, I can't even. Thin air starting walking like it's a staircase there. Walking right into the heaven. Could you see him looking down? I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. And watch it. We set balloons off Sunday. They went up 
and up and up and out of sight. Say he's caught in the clouds. They didn't see him again. Until one day, a man was being stoned. And he kneeled down there. Kabonk. Big boulder hit him. Kabonk. <laughs> All the pain and stuff trying to get up. Trying to get up. Just thumping on him. Blood running down. Kathump. Kathump. Here he is. What's wrong with that dummy? Why ain't he crying? Why ain't he falling over? He's looking up. He's looking up. He said, I think I see Jesus on the right hand side of the Father. Yeah. Dropped over. Up. Up. That's all I want to do is encourage all of you. Look up. There's a better place than this. There's a better life than this. But while we're here, Let's encourage one another. Let's inspire and motivate. Give a helping hand. You that are strong, lend me your shoulder. Esteem me in a righteous way. You see me fail? Come to me in a spirit of meekness. Restore me back to the faith. Give me that encouragement. Help me look up. Glory to God. Bless you. Amen. Joseph.